Hello VC, hello everyone. Yeah, um, yeah, this is a, uh, uh, this is a video that, you know, I never thought I'd, f I didn't think I was going to film it, but when I heard the news, um, just before midnight, um, I knew I had to make a video on it. This is a tribute, well, you know, this is a tribute to, um, the great Mark, Mark Hollis of Talk Talk, who passed away yesterday, and I believe it has been confirmed it was due to a short illness. Um, fortunately, he was um, quite young, I'd say, a bit young. He was 64. Um, but yeah, uh, huge shame, um, real shock. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mark Hollis was the lead vocalist and guitarist, I'd say. Yeah, guitar player for the band Talk Talk. They were a band formed in 1981 and they consisted of three main members which were um, Lee, which were Mark Hollis, um, Lee Harris and Paul Webb. Um, they had um, three, three albums, their first three albums were quite successful. There was the, there was the album um, the Party's Over from 1982, followed by the um, very successful It's My Life, which had the hit single It's My Life and also the single um, Such a Shame, and I believe Dum Dum Girls single as well. And then the, the Breakthrough album, which is the one I've got on LP here to show you, it is the album The Colour of Spring, which is one of my favourite albums of all time, and an album that I know a lot of VC members do have, and a lot of people have in their record collection if they were around in the 80s. But yeah, this is a great album. Probably their best of the, of the albums that charted. I do like um, the two albums after this, which were Laughing Stock and... No, Spirit of Eden and Laughing Stock, which I'm very tempted to pick up now. And, you know... To re listen to them because I do prefer some of them, but I'd like to hear more. Um, but yeah, this is a really good album for people who are interested. This has like this has Happiness is Easy, I Don't Believe in You, Life's What You Make It, which was a huge hit. Um, April 5th, and another hit for them was Living in Another World, Give It Up, another great song, Caleb, Chameleon Day, and Time It's Time. But yeah, this is a great album. We've got a lot of session musicians on this besides them. I mean, um, Steve Winwood is on this album. He plays the organ on Happiness Is Easy, and a few other tracks. Yeah, he plays it on Living in Another World as well. He plays the organ on. Um, um, Try to read now. Um, on um, I I do do I I don't believe in you. Happiness is easy. Um, so yeah, cool. Steve Winwood, <laughs> of all people. But yeah, um, Dave Rhodes, well, Peter from Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel's band is on the album. He plays guitar on quite a few tracks, and also Robbie McIntosh plays guitar as well on a few tracks as well. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. But yeah, of course we talk about Mark Hollis today. Sorry, there's the back there. Look, she. I don't know what this LP is going for. I don't know if it's going to skyrocket in price. Oh god. But yeah. This label, this is a really good album, I highly recommend it. It's probably the best out of the first three of the three successful albums they did. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping you can still pick it up, people who haven't heard it. Um, I first heard Talk Talk about um, in 2015 when I was watching a video online by Watch Mojo on the band No Doubt. And I remember, and they, they were saying, because Watch Mojo used to do bio videos, and they're quite interesting, they're quite nice, they are. that's why I got into a lot of these bands, a lot of bands really, was through the videos. Um, but this was quite um, a, um, they, and they were doing it, and they, they showed a clip from It's My Life, and no doubt, no doubt to cover it. I thought, there's an original of that, isn't there? And I tracked it down, like, and I remember, oh yeah, it's by Talk it's by Talk, Talk, and that's my dad. Dad, do you remember Talk Talk? He said, yeah. They were quite popular. They had a song called Talk Talk. <laughs> yeah, which is not... I, I don't mind that one, Talk Talk by Talk Talk. It's alright, I guess. Um, 
but yeah, the album, the thing to me, you know, this is the one. The, the, this is the one, and the two ones after this are the, the go-to ones, I'd say, really, for me, because I love this, you know, this type of music, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's described as post-rock, and that's just a great sort of definition for them, post-rock, definitely. But yeah, Mark Hollis, um, Mark Hollis, eh? Hey? Um, trying to, just, yeah. So the band, um, the band themselves, they did, they did, um, they disbanded in like 1991. Uh, Hollis only released one solo album, which was quite, um, which was quite a shock. He only released one solo album, then he retired, um, in like 1990 something, I'm going to say. 1998, the solo album came out. I'm looking at my phone, sorry guys. I was going to prepare a script, but I forgot to, I'm very sorry. Um... <laughs> And this morning, when I woke up, I did hear on the radio, It's My Life, and they said, that was for Mark, Mark Hollis, tributes. And a lot of people have paid tribute to him, which is, you know, fair enough, because he's, he's a genius, you know. But he only, he only released one solo album, which was, um... Hmm. um yeah, it's called Mark Hollis, in 1998. And um, probably can get it on vinyl. I don't know if I can anymore though. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was the only album he made. Um, yeah, nineteen ninety one. Yeah, Laughing Stock. First album since first material he'd done. And then he retired. He didn't do. Um, he just retired into the business. And um, yeah, huge shock. What a surprise, I couldn't believe it. I found out um, on Instagram um, when um, synth musician, Welsh synth musician, The Anchoress posted, you know, that, that he died. And I thought, oh my God, that's shocking. So then took some, and then I heard that and I instantly knew I had to put a tribute up. So on Instagram, I put up a, I put up a tribute um, talking about the album Colour of Spring. Because that is probably my favourite album by Talk Talk. But um, yeah. Um, um, per the, um, and apparently, I believe the reason he did leave was because um, because um, he wanted to spend time with his family, and that's a major reason. Talk to stop touring after nineteen eighty six. Apparently, but yeah, that's, um, you know, apparently lived in Wimbledon, London for most of his life, and his early life. Um, um, he was born on the fourth of January nineteen fifty five in Tottenham, London. He had two. Two brothers, and uh, he was a kind of a, luck, a reluctant interviewee throughout his career. And little is known about his early life. But does say he attended Tollington School um, in London. Um, I believe um, he was going to um, be taken across to psychology, psychology at the University of Sussex, but dropped out after a year and a half between school and the launch of launch of his music career, he worked in factories as a laboratory technician. Um, reflecting on this period of life, they said I could never wait to get home and start writing songs and lyrics all day long. I'd be jotting ideas down on bits of paper and just waiting for the moments when I could could put it all on tape. Hmm. And his first band was The Reaction in 1977. And Uh, yeah, but yeah, I believe later on he met the two musicians that would form the basis of Talk Talk. But yeah, they're a great band, and I highly recommend you guys check out this album. It is brilliant. But yeah, huge shame he passed away. And I've got an interview here from my, from a thing I I keep on putting this off now to put. Um, I've got a huge binder of enemy of new musical express articles that I made, and here is one of them reviewing a concert from 1982 of Duran Duran and um, Talk Talk at the Hammersmith Odeon and the review is by, the review is by Paul Dunoyer and it says here about Talk Talk um, first there's a support so before Duran Duran went on stage it says you know first there's a support act to be sat through though the, jun though the junior Duraners are pointly politely patient and the group Talk Talk 
by name, are actually worth paying attention to. Four boys, singer, synth, bass and drum, whose strength is in their melodies. Talk Talk impressed despite some lack of self-assurance. The songs X are excellent. Generally slow, due to me and it's so serious, sounded especially good. As a live act, their projection is uncertain, free willow Free willowy futurists and a vocalist with the manner of a new romantic Lee Ibrilleur. And maybe some fourth is needed on set dynamics. This is, that is, they don't build, they just continue. The Talk Talk are the first, new attract, first attractive new band I've heard in too many weeks. And I hope that you'll hear them as well. Nearly Duran time now. And f All right, now just goes into Duran Duran. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, that man was saying that they already had a future back by 82. Um, it was to come to them with some great, great success. I, I just want to say, I was going to film this outside, but there was no, there was no sort of um, perfect space to sit in the garden. So, yeah, I had to film inside. Um, I was, but yeah, it's a huge shock that he's passed away. And what we can do is to just carry on and keep on listening to the music. And for people who are who people who haven't listened to this album, I would recommend you check it out, and also their other albums. So, Mark Hollis, you are a genius, and you were in probably one of the most underrated bands of one of the underrated bands of the eighties, which all of us remember more now than we did back then. VC. Why is anyway? Anyway, this band, and I think the VC community are the community who respect the hell out of this band, and I'm glad they do because this band needs to be heard more. And also, so yeah, Mark Hollis, may you rest in peace. This is Sean Whedon signing off. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.